Hi right, guys, welcome to Waterside Workshop. So where we left off on the last part, we were doing the wing on the Fiesta there. Got the glaze on there and that's just drying off at the moment, so we're just leaving it alone. Been prepping the bumper behind me, which you can see there in the background, and down on the floor you might have just seen. Got the trims for the car. This one's actually in fairly decent nick. It's got some scuffs and stuff on it if I go close. It definitely is handed out. But then I've got ones like this one that are destroyed, all the paint's coming off. They're all bubbled up for some reason. Yeah, it's going to take a bit of prep, so I'm going to get onto them. I'm going to start prepping them while I'm waiting for the old Fiesta wing over there to dry. And yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing for starters. So welcome in, hope everyone's well. Let's carry on. Yoo -hoo! As you can see on this one, some of these are really, really bad, nasty around the edges. But I'm sure we can get a load of that out, so let's have a go. they can be saved so I'll go ahead and do the rest of these trims they're all in this condition apart from that first one get them all stripped down get them all as best I can and then skim some of the edges where I need to okay so I spent a good bit of time on the trims again now they've got them all filled up where they need to be filled Looking pretty good. Shouldn't take too much longer now to get them prepped. And this one's near enough all the way there. It's just got a bit on the edge of that one there. A lot of the sand around the edges takes quite a bit off. And then it's the really deep stuff you just have to give it a good skim to. So, not bad. Let's move on. I'm going to sand that wing now, I think. So, I've probably spent half an hour or so reshaping all this wing. It's now looking. Lovely, absolutely spot on by the looks of it. Got the line back in the arch. No up and down ripples along here. This line's back again and that line up there's back again. So, not bad. Horrible shape to do, must admit. But once we get a bit of primer on that on there and flatten that back, some silver, some lacquer, that's gonna look like it's never been touched. Pretty cool. Should actually dry in front of your eyes and get the idea. But I think it's looking pretty good myself. Okay, so it's pretty much prepped. Now I'm about to pull a sheet over it. I'm hoping to get it into primer tonight, so. That's the plan anyway. Just took the aerial off and that sort of fell apart in my hands. I'll show you that in a minute. <laughs> Not much good. We'll get a new one. Oh, this is 
good stuff. This is free am stuff, this stuff, but you get what you pay for and this sort of stuff and no paint burns through it or melts it or anything. Does exactly what it's meant to do, covers up any panels that don't need anything on. Cost a bit more than the cheaper stuff, but stops a lot of hassle. I think we'll leave the front end connected like we would normally. It just traps the front end down, stops it blowing up in any of the wind or anything. And then that's the case of me just cutting out each panel what I need to be working on. So I'll do one just to show you what I mean. And then I'll do the rest of the car off camera. Basically cut round the wing. Like so. Fold it all in underneath the areas where you don't want paint like on the wheels and etc. These ones don't really matter too much to be fair because the tyres are shot. Right. So I've masked down the edge of the door so we don't get nothing there. Put a bit on the edge of the sill to the edge of the wing. That hasn't got to be too crazy here because I'm not going to put no primer there. Primer's going to stop about here. Basically just exposing anything you want to get primer on. Down the edge of the light. not my radio in the background, it's next doors. <laughs> that's pretty much what I'll do, I'll pop this little indicator out, get that out of my way, I'll do the wing around the other side, I'll expose it the same as this. I've got to do the back bumper. And I think that's where we are, and then obviously we've got that bumper over there, the mask, which I've already done, so I'll quickly show you that. I've already masked the bottom half of that, so just the top half is showing, is that what we want? And then down the back here, I'll expose all the back of the bumper and I'll show you afterwards. So things are slightly different at the back here. What I've done is all the overhanging bag and I've pushed it inside the boot and now we're just masking the boot. So we can just get a little bit of dust in there on the edge of the bumper there. But as soon as you put air against that, it's going to flap, so you have to tape it down. And what you're going to do is create dust and make the, the cover stick to the car, which you definitely don't want. So we want that to stay up there, so... You do is you put a bit of tape on and you, you pull it that way and that just pulls it away from where you are. And then again on this end, pull it tight. Got a 
slight baggy bit there we don't want. Just got it. And that should do it. All right, I'm going to go down and do the front, the wing and stuff, and the rest of the bits that need doing. So we're all masked up. Just wiped them all down. And I actually found a couple of little marks, which is quite annoying because I'm going to have to fill them. <laughs> it's a couple there. And this is one once it dries, which will sort out. There's a couple on there. And then on this bumper, there's some there, which is quite annoying. And there's some there, right on the edges. So we've got to get rid of them. Otherwise, this wing's ready. Still wet from where I just wiped it all down. And this wing's all ready as well. No marks or nothing around here to do. Absolutely perfect. So we'll get them little bits done off camera. And then hopefully we can get this all primed up. Okay, so we're in primer. Lovely jarbly. It's three coats. This bumper, I've done the spot repairs and then two coats of primer all over. Looking pretty nice. Over onto the back bumper. All repairs done and sorted. Them little bits I had to touch up. I've done them, sanded them back and they were reprimed. And then we got the wing around the other side. Let's have a look. All nice and primed up. All ready to be flattened down. Well, not today. We need to give it to a 12 hours or so to flash off. Trims have got two coats on them now. Grey primer, as you can see. Two are really, really good. And there's one that just need a little bit of work. As you can see there. We've got a funny little reaction line. We need to get rid of them. So we need to flatten them back and give it another little flick. But nothing we can't do. We just pulled the old Rover 75 over and pumped those tyres up and stuff. She's still looking good, but she could do with a good old clean. Them old headlights seem to be lasting a long time, man, which is good. Nice and shiny still. Really good at night. Got the old birds talking. If you can see that up there. It's been there a while now and it's squawking away. <laughs> right, that's all I can do for tonight because everything's got a cure. So I'll see you in the morning. Morning guys, how's it going again? So straight back on the Fiesta this morning. Got in a bit late today, got in at about seven. And already flattening down the wing. And I've already done the bumper. So I'll spin you around and show you where we are. So as you can see, all flattened down. Just got to wipe it all down in a little while, but no hurry for that. I'm flattening this wing down as we speak. All that repair is looking really good and look at that lovely line that we got back where it was damaged. It's looking pretty good. I've got this wing to still do, flattened down and the back bumper. It's a bit windy today so it's blowing all the sheets and up and down which is a bit of a pain. It's coming straight through the doors, but we can deal with that and we'll carry on. And that's what I'm up to at the moment. So I've been playing with the Rover 75 for a little while now. After doing the sanding on the Fiesta. Don't know if any of them remember, I had a sort of creased back bumper. It was creased in there, creased in all the way along the back here. And creased all in this corner. Someone had done a previous repair at a body shop or somewhere before we got it and didn't do a very good job of straightening all the plastic first and getting it all nice and flat before they filled over the top of it hence a few months down the line it all cracked so i'm straightening everything up i'm cutting all this plastic out down here getting all these lines right 
making sure none of it is sticking up. I've ground into all this lot down here with the grinder just to make it lower than what it actually is so I can get a good skim in there and make sure it's all good. And hopefully we'll do a nice proper job. We're gonna have to replace this light because obviously it's got a big crack in the bottom. You need to take it out anyway because there's a little crack on the edge of the bumper here. So we'll sort that out. And then we're pretty much getting there, which is quite cool. We can start skimming it. I thought I'd just show you that while I'm sort of doing that in the background. The rear bumper and stuff on the Fiesta is done now, as you can see. All flattened down. Obviously, I need to wipe it down with the panel wipe and stuff, but it's all flattened down, ready to go. Same with this wing, all lovely and smooth. Smooth as a baby's bum, as they say. <laughs> This wing's all sorted. Gone through the grades and the bumper. So they just need wiping down now. But I always like to let them settle for a little while. Got a puddle of water there, look, we better get rid of that, don't we? Don't want a puddle of water, do we? <laughs> I'll blow them all down anyway, that's not the case. Yeah, I just like them to settle for a bit before I start putting the top coats on once I've sanded them back. Always found that you get a much better finish if you do that, just in case there's any trap solvents or anything in there. So that's where we are at the moment. Trims over here, we've had one more coat of primer. I did give it one bit of a flat back. Remember that one I showed you that had the bits on the, the thing that was a bit flaky? Well, I sanded them back and we've whacked it all on now and we're looking good. So it's all coming along. We're doing bits in between. This is the Oastra if anyone isn't in it. This whole side's all nice and prepped. Had quite a bit of damage on this side. But it's all lovely and smooth. Just need a couple of good heavy coats of primer. So we can flatten it all back and seal it all up. And that'll be pretty good. It's a bit of work on the front bumper it need doing. A little bit of work on the bonnet. Bit up there on the top of the spoiler. Bit on the bottom of the boot. Back bumper. Still plenty of little bits that need doing. And a couple of bits up the top there on that side. This MG sitting here and I think I've pretty much finished it. I finished this quarter yesterday. Just getting it all flattened down and all shaped up and it's lovely. Same as the boot. I don't think there's any more left. Pretty much there. That's pretty cool. All in the front bumper, all the bonnet. Everything's done. Oh no, tell us one bit. I'd even forgot about it, there's one bit up here. So I might even get onto that while I'm doing stuff in between today. So there's that bit up there. Now that car's ready for primer. Yeah. It's got a lovely day today, nice and sunny. Blue skies. So. I've been playing with the Rover 75 for a little while now, after doing the sanding on the Fiesta. Don't know if any of them remember, I had a sort of creased back bumper. It was creased in there, creased in all the way along the back here. And creased all in this corner. Someone had done a previous repair at a body shop or somewhere before we got it. And didn't do a very good job of straightening all the plastic first. And getting it all nice and flat before they filled over the top of it. Hence, a few months down the line, it all cracked. So I'm straightening everything up. I'm cutting all this plastic out down here. Getting all these lines right. Making sure none of it is sticking up. I've ground into all this lot down here with the grinder. Just to make it lower than what it actually is. So I can get a good skim in there and make sure it's all good. And hopefully we'll do a nice proper job. We're going to have to replace this light. Because obviously it's got a big crack in the bottom. Need to take it out anyway because there's a little crack on the edge of the bumper here. So we'll sort that out. And then we're pretty much getting there, which is quite cool. We can start skimming it. I thought I'd just show you that while I'm sort of doing that in the background. The rear bumper and stuff on the Fiesta is done now, as you can see. All flattened down. Obviously, I need to wipe it down with the panel wipe and stuff. But it's all flattened down, ready to go. Same with this wing. All lovely and smooth. Smooth as a baby's bum, as they say. <laughs> this wing's all sorted. Gone through the grades and the bumper. So they just need wiping down now. 
but I always like to let them settle for a little while. Got a puddle of water there, look, we better get rid of that, don't we? Don't want a puddle of water, do we? <laughs> I'll blow them all down anyway, that's not the case. Yeah, I just like them to settle for a bit before I start putting the top coats on once I've sanded them back. I always found that you get a much better finish if you do that, just in case there's any trap solvents or anything in there. So that's where we are at the moment. Trims over here have had one more coat of primer. I did give it one bit of a flat back. Remember that one I showed you that had the bits on the the thing that was a bit flaky? Well, I sanded them back and we've whacked it all on now and we're looking good. So it's all coming along. We're doing bits in between. This is the Oastra if anyone ain't seen it. This whole side's all nice and prepped. Had quite a bit of damage on this side. It's all lovely and smooth. Just need a couple of good heavy coats of primer. So we can flatten it all back and seal it all up. And it'll be pretty good. It's a bit of work on the front bumper it need doing. A little bit of work on the bonnet. Bit up there on the top of the spoiler. Bit on the bottom of the boot. Back bumper. Still plenty of little bits that need doing. And a couple of bits up the top there on that side. This MG sitting here and I think I've pretty much finished it. I finished this quarter yesterday. Just getting it all flattened down and all shaped up and it's lovely. Same as the boot. I don't think there's any more left. Pretty much there. So that's pretty cool. All in the front bumper, all the bonnet. Everything's done. Oh no, there's one bit. I'd even forgot about it. There's one bit up here. So I might even get onto that while I'm doing stuff in between today. So there's that bit up there. Now that car's ready for primer. Yeah! It's got a lovely day today, nice and sunny. Blue skies. Well, I've been working away hard on the old Rover 75. Just take you over and let you see what's what. Blue skies, a bit cloudy, but sunny. It's windy though. So I've had the first fill and sanded. It's not taken too long to be fair. A few hours. We're getting into it. And they're gonna give it another reskim. And that's where we'll be. Our friendly birds are back on the roof. <laughs> so they don't mess all over the cars. Nice, that's where I am. I'm there gonna pop home for some lunch, I think. Some dippy eggs sound good. <laughs> I've got to go and get some paint for this one. Get the old silver, I've got everything else, just need to get the silver. And you know what I'll be doing later. <laughs> so as you know, this one's all prepped. There's actually been a day go between now because I've got someone interested in the focus, so I brought that in and give it a revalet. And this is now the next day. But I completely forgot about doing this door on the passenger side. So guess what I've just done? <laughs> Put a bit of cardboard in like that so I didn't mess up any of the prep on the front wing. And I've flattened this whole door out. As you can see where the bits of primer are, that's where we had a bit of um, lacquer peel. So I've sort of fingered them down, flicked a bit of primer on them, flattened them down again. And that's where we are with it. So it shouldn't take too much. I'm going to give it a wipe down now. I'm just going to get a bit of scotch bright and go along these top bits. And then hopefully we're ready to start painting. Bit of a pain, I've got to put a bit of dust in the air. It's a cold day today as well, which is a shame. Which means I can't have the big doors open. There's a big wind coming this way. And that's just going to create loads of dust and loads of cold air, which isn't no good. Especially on a silver. <laughs> so, like I said, I'm just a bit of scotch bright. Just getting in some of the bits where I couldn't with the sander. So obviously we want the paint to stick. You can tell us cold because I even had trouble sticking the masking tape down. This is not good, not what we want. This is just a quick flick along the top here, it's not going to take 30 seconds. Nothing too crazy, just to get the bits, like I say, where the sander couldn't go. Which isn't too bad. Around the handle.
Should be able to flick a nice bit of silver around that and make that look good. A bit wobbly here and there, so I'm just trying to get them bits as well. As say, there's no point in going really close in with the sander, because all you do is end up going through on places where you don't want to. I'll get this line along the bottom here as well. You'll always get a line just above your trim where the sander just can't spin. But again, it's only another 15 second job just to quickly whip along. I'm going to have to remaster this bit on the end here because that's peeled up a little bit where I've caught it. And I think we're there. A bit along the bottom. Tiny bit there. Looks like we've got most of it. Got a tiny little scratch there, but I think that will quite easily fill up. There's another little bit of peel out I need to do with the sander. I'm still going to wipe it down because I want to see what's what. Last load of this on. Gives me an idea of what's still left. If anything to prep, so the only bit I know about is that little tiny bit I just found. Where is it? <laughs> Can't actually even see it. Now I've gone over this, so it's not very significant. It's a tiny little dot right there. So, you know me, I'm a bit fussy. So I will quickly go back and do it. I'll just do it off camera quickly. Sand it, rewipe it with this. Don't want to be knocking me stuff everywhere. Got a tiny little scratch here, but I think I'll fill up with the silver. And that can come out. Always a good trick putting the old bit of cardboard in there. I'll just wipe them into this wing now. Just in case we put dust all over it. I think you get the idea of where we are. We're near enough ready to paint. I'm going to wipe the rest of the car down quickly. I've got the boot just propped up there, as you can see, in the middle, and just enough gap for me to get under and just get a bit of paint on the top of the bumper there where it needs to be painted. But I've masked off inside the boot so I can't go inside the car. Because obviously we don't want to fill up the car full of paint and sand and dust or anything like that. Especially after a big old valet I've had over the last few days. <laughs> right, one more panel. That's this one right in the front here. And it should. I will wipe it again before it starts spraying, but... Pretty good for now, but obviously a bit more dust will settle from in the air. So that's one more actually, and there's the bumper. <laughs> and we get to that point where we start putting the shiny stuff on. And hopefully all goes well, because silver can be a right pig of a colour. And metallic of the silver can turn over and you can get like grey spots everywhere and all sorts. So let's fingers crossed. This one all goes well. Whew. We should be there. I'll give that 15 minutes again to settle down. I think I'll have a hot chocolate. I'll wipe it all down again while I'm getting geared up for spraying. And we'll get some paint on. Okay everybody, so us. Uh, Time to put the old mask on. Time to do some painting. You should still be able to hear me. Might be a little muffled, but you should hear it. Let's go, let's go. Bit too much there. Gonna have to remask that.
pretty good coverage. Some bit now. Don't want any in the boot. Need to get some wheel covers, see the useless. Pretty good, pretty good. Just gotta get rid of the blend lens. Going well so far. We mixed up 300 ml of paint. Never forget your edges. Pretty nice. Round two, round two. Remember I've got a blend that way. So it's starting to look good. Starting to get a base silver down. Still drying at the moment. A bit harder on the bumper because that was a different colour. But it's starting to change. Should be good after a couple more coats. Still wet there at the moment. So outside at the moment, it's all going pretty well, apart from it's now starting to rain on me. <laughs> but the car in the background there is all going well. Whew. Need a couple more coats on the bumper because that was a different colour, so that's got to have a bit more coats. The back bumper is looking pretty good. 
the passion to door and the passion to wing they're looking good and serves the front wing so i'll be able to just drop coat them on the next two coats get all the metallics laying down flat and then heavy coat on the bumper and then a drop coat and a drop coat on the back and then i'll just leave it probably 24 hours and then we'll hit it with some lacquer so not going too bad but i'm going to get out of this rain i'll just come out here for a bit of fresh air i'm going to go and hide in the old caravan in the background now <laughs> okay so i've got four coats on now done two more coats off camera and as you can see we've got a lovely shiny silver it's called moon dust silver 62 if you want to know the paint code and we're looking really really good obviously i've not lacquered yet color matching everything is looking really good from what i can see so far it's gonna be nice Not bad, not bad. I had a little tiny bit of paint left over, so I put a little bit on these trims. That was only a small bit, as you can see, but that still gave me a first coat of silver on the trims instead of wasting it. So pretty good, we're in a good place. I'm gonna leave it overnight now, because I want it to settle nicely. Obviously, if I was in a spray bay like I used to be at the other garage, I would have just put it on heat for an hour and we've been ready to go but we're not in that situation at the moment so this is the way you got to do it unless if I go and put lacquer on now and there's some wet patches that will just start turning over bits will lift and that'll just make a mess and I'll have to start again which ain't no good so that's where we are I'm actually going to have an early night I'm going to say an early night it's seven o'clock on a Saturday night so it's still fairly late really but we came in, we got done what we wanted to do, and I'm happy with that. So I'll see you in the morning. Oh, so I'm just sitting back in the old caravan at the moment, having a drink, staying away from all the fumes and spray and stuff like that. I've done three coats of lacquer, and I'm just saying it all settled down now, so I'll stay in here for about 45 minutes, let it all sort of stuff out, got doors open let it all settle and then once it has i'll take you for a little wander and we'll go and have a look you can see i've got a couple of small runs but nothing to worry about they'll flat out once it's all dry get a food because I, I like to put it on fairly heavy so i've got a whole coat to take off so can't complain it's just normal so yeah not too bad so just a quick look because i don't want to stay in front of it too long i don't want to create any dust as you can see crystal clear same on the wing you can see me in it but not even flattened and buffed it or anything yet lovely same around this side not going to stay still too long like i say it's still food me in here and stinks but it's looking good Let's see what the back bumper looks like from the when the doors open lovely right i'm going to shut all this up get out of here okay so it's a couple of days later now paint's all gone off and you just catch me flattening it all back at the moment with some very light sandpaper the reason i'm having to do this is because my color match is obviously a nice fresh silver and the rest of the car has got all sun fade on it so i'm having to flatten the whole thing back to blend it all in with my fresh paint not going too crazy, just skimming over it, making sure the whole lot goes flat. It's like a horrible yellow scummy surface to it, but it is coming off. So I'm sort of just getting it all off. Done most of this side already. Just got a few little bits to touch up, which I'm doing now. And then the rest of this is pretty good. A little bit up the top here, I haven't done. Most of the panels are all done. It probably took me an hour and a half or so to just flatten all this side down. It's a bit up along the top here, I haven't done yet, which I'm now doing. A 
bit of a pain really to have to go through all this, but sometimes you have to do it, especially with silvers. Otherwise you just get a, a line between the panels you painted and the panels you haven't. And that looks terrible when you polish it all up. You get like a, well it looks like a black next to a white, they don't blend basically. But if you do this, they will blend and they should blend really nicely. Got to do the whole roof and run the rest of the car as well, but I think you get the idea. So I'm gonna wipe these down a bit and see what's underneath. Now we're, now we're sanded that whole side down. Sorry about the grinders and stuff in the background, but obviously this is a work and industrial estate. It's all it's other workshops next door, etc. etc. So a bit of tissue. Bit of panel wipe and let's start wiping some of this off. See it's all nice and shiny under there. You now I've got some scratches up here which I must have put in myself. I had a little attempt at it yesterday and it was still too soft and I think I've scratched it which is quite annoying but not much I can do about it. I'm either going to have to redo it or do a little touch in or just see if I can sand a lot of it out. Not really sure yet. We shall find out as we go along. At the moment I'm just trying to concentrate on getting the whole of this side all one colour. But there's nothing worse than putting all in that, all that effort, all that work. And then having to do the rest of the panels because they don't match. Had that a couple of times before where I've had to do the rest of the car because it's just so sun faded that it just doesn't match anything else. Even if the paint coat is spot on and the mix is spot on, it doesn't always match. Whew, so, what we got? Obviously, that's all like a matte silver now, but it's going to be nothing to do about that. I'll obviously flattened it down. But that's exactly what we want at the moment, because we just need to see what is on this side. Have we flattened it all down? There's a few little marks on some of these panels, but nothing we can't deal with. It's a 2003 car, so it's never going to look... I could just come out of the factory unless I paint the whole thing, which I'm not going to do. It's just not worthwhile. I might have done if I was in the spray or something like that and just masked up the car and just whipped over the whole thing. But not too realistic in here at the moment. Quick wipe on the windows just to stop them drying up all yucky. And then we'll have a proper look at this side. We can assess what compounds and stuff we need to use and etc etc. We'll get where we are. So let's have a closer look, shall we? So that's what we got. Still see there's a bit of a gold tinge to it, which we don't really want. I'm trying to get rid of that. I think that rear quarter's already been painted by someone else. But we're just trying to get as many silvers looking the same as, as we can, really. And when you see it like that, because of in here, the artificial light, Looks like we've got three different panels done. <laughs> but I know from experience, if I just flatten these all down and buff them all in, etc. Once I take it outside, it'll all look good. Bonnet's obviously got to be flattened as well. A couple of little stone chips to touch up. This side I haven't touched whatsoever yet. It's all looking nice. Obviously the door and wing will blend into each other because they were both painted. But I don't think the match between the quarter and the, the door are going to be much of a problem. Just where the light is, where I'm standing, there's shade. Over there, there's more light. I think the colour match is good, but I'm still going to sand that whole side just to blend it in. I'll sand this back bumper. It's all looking pretty good. And then the front bumper over here, I'll flatten that back too. Give that a buff and get it back on the car. Probably put it back on the car first, actually. Just had to wait for it to be dry enough to touch. 
And yeah, we'll do a bit of buffing and see what's what. So I'll bring you back in a bit later once I've had a bit of a blast on this side. And we'll start to see what's gonna happen with the colors, with the paint. Are we gonna get a nice deep shine all on the car? Or is it just gonna be a dull flat silver? Well, it's been a long, long time. I've probably spent I don't know, a good two hours on this side. Had to go all along this bottom, getting all the black tar off and all the horrible stuff off. Still ain't finished yet, I'm still mopping away, but as you can see on this door and this rear quarter, we're starting to get a really nice shine. Had a couple of bits of lag where I had to flat down and sort of blend out. And this whole front wing, I've just completely flattened it down with 1200, 1500, 2000 and 2500. So that's had a good old flat now. But yes, yeah, not easy. There's <laughs> a couple of little bits on the edges around this light and stuff and down these edges. If I go close, you might be able to just about see. I'm just trying to blend all that in at the moment and blend that away so that all disappears. But yeah, it's been a nightmare. My arms are falling off. I've been sanding so much but we are getting somewhere I think the colors are starting to look pretty good and pretty similar if I come back and try not to get any shadows like this you can pretty much see the whole cars in one color it's just where you've got a bit of light to the left bit of light to the right and there's nothing in the middle here always does that but yes it's starting to come on quite nicely Whew, wow finally got this side all one color as you can see Oh, that's been hard work. Whew, I've had to put a lot of time into this, all afternoon basically, just into one side. I'm pretty knackered, my arms are burning. I have done a bit of other stuff. I've done a good gleam up on this headlight. That took a bit of sanding because it was bright yellow and horrible. A bit like this one over here. Couldn't even see into it, it's nasty. But it's looking pretty good now. Done all of this wing all nice and shiny. This door's all nice and shiny. There's a couple of small little dents in this door, but it just looks normal. It's fine. Color matches are looking good now. They all seem to sort of blend quite nicely. Always come out a bit strange in the camera. We're showing us a little bit goldy still. That's actually not, but you'll see that when it's outside. Uh, blended into this bumper. I haven't sanded the whole bumper. I've got to go all the way across there as yet, but I've just done this corner to see what's what and blended into this arch. And as you can see, we've got the colors to match and up this corner. Done this back light, sorted that all out. So yeah, we're starting to look good, but whew, pretty knacker and hard work. I'm literally shaking holding the camera. My arms are absolutely dead, but it's pretty much now time to go and have a roast dinner. And then I'll probably come back in this evening and do some more. Just give myself sort of hours rest, have something to eat, hot chocolate. Let my arms recuperate a little bit, hopefully. And then I'll come in and do some more, I think. So I didn't come back in last night. So I sat there, had a roast and a couple of beers and <laughs> that was done sort of thing. So I'm back in this one, I've been in early. I've fitted the front bumper. I've done, took the splitter off the old one and fitted that to that one along the bottom. That was a pain, but that's all done. I'll spin you around, I'll show you what I've been up to because I put the bumper on and fit it up to the wings and stuff. And yeah, we're moving on. So let's spin around and have a look, shall we? So yeah, this is the old bumper. Took a splitter off the bottom. All these nice little clips. All nice on this one. On the other one, they just ripped it off. So that was fun. The one I bought, I bought off the internet. Come from eBay, that one. The splitter's on, as you can see. Looks pretty good. Hard to tell with all the masking tape and that there, but bumpers on, grills all back in, headlights are in. It's all lining up nicely. We start to look pretty good. I still need to get a badge for the front because that one's horrible. And now it's the case of flattening down the paintwork on the bumper and getting that as shiny as what we've done on the other side there. Get this all to blend in along this side. Shouldn't be a problem because they've both been painted the same. But as you can see, with just me standing in shadows that make them look different even though they were both painted only a few days ago. I'll sort of move along down this side and do what I can along there. 
got this headlight to sort out. So I'll do that as well. So I've got plenty to be getting on with. The last I've been in for a good few hours now. So I'm just going to stop and have a hot chocolate. And then we'll move on with this. Time is now 10 to 12. I've been here since about 7, so been getting busy. All the side is done. Everything is all back in, indicators and stuff are wired back up. Cases back on, all working fine. So we're getting there bit by bit. It's taking a long time, this one, though, to be fair. It's pushing me to the limits. <laughs> making me have to do all sorts of different things, but we are getting there with it. And I'm hoping to get all this front end done. I then want to move on around the other side and down the back. So let's just keep doing it. I'll have a drink and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so we're getting through it. Front bumper's all on and flattened down. Been buffed a couple of times already. Looking pretty good, quite shiny, quite nice. Blend it in. Done this headlight now as well. So as you can see, we've got a crystal clear headlight. Done all the bonnet. Literally just finished doing that. Passed over it, I think three or four times now after giving it a really good sand and flattened it all down. So we're coming along. It's a bit slow this one, but we're coming along all right. Next, I've got a get onto this wing and this door, but I might just have a rest from sanding and buffing at the moment and do some other bits. I need to pop out and I need some tyres. So I'm gonna go and grab some tyres. I need some ball joints, stuff like that. So I'm gonna go and sort all them out. Whew, another trip done. Whew, just picked up a couple of tyres, everyone, as you'll see in a minute. Really nice tyres, these ones. Still got all the bobbly bits on. Wheels are a bit rusty, but we can soon sort them out. So that's more like it. That's what we like to see on a tyre, isn't it? Nice full tread. Still got all the bobbly bits on it. On the sides. Pretty good. Got another one there too. Obviously the rims are a bit rusty, but they're old wheels. So we'll give them a bit of sandbag and black M, that's not a problem. And that's two out of the way. Still need two more, but I've got two more to pick up as yet in different places, just waiting for the people to be available. And we'll get that sorted. Okay, so that's the wheels all sanded down and blacked. And then the old tyre paint's been put on. Obviously they won't stay shiny mad like that, they'll go matte. Nice tidy matte clean finish, which I'll show you when they're on the car and all sorted. I'm now turning my attention over here. I'm going to whip this wheel off. Yeah, so just taking this wheel off. And I've got bottom ball joints to replace. Already loosened them and jacked the car up. Nothing wrong with the actual ball joints. Um, just the rubbers are gone on them. You can see just looking under here, it's had new brake pipes on the front. See nice copper pipes. That's good news. So yeah, I've got, there's no point in taking them apart to be fair and just putting new rubbers in. I don't see the point anymore, just put a set of new ball joints on. Freshen up the steering a little bit. It's just the same job, there's no extra work to be fair. So these wheels obviously won't be going back on. Shame really, like I said, the treads are really good, but they just all split all the way down every single line. And too dangerous, which we're not gonna have. We won't send something like that out. Right, so obviously the ball joints are down the bottom here. I'm just make sure everything else is tight while we're doing it. The back of the wishbone joints and stuff look quite new. Rubbers are all good. 
there's no movement, so that's pretty cool. So it's just a case of getting under there now and undoing some ball joints. We have just been out, picked these up, got one for each side. What have we got in here then? It should be good. But as you know in previous videos, sometimes you can get the wrong stuff. Joint looks nice, sits in there like that. Bolts on with these new bolts and washers. So let's get the old one off and hope that that one's exactly the same. Well, that didn't go how it was meant to go. <laughs> that was a nightmare. I've got all the new joint nut on now, as you can see. I haven't got a bolt for here now because I had to smash the hell out of it to get it out. I was heating up for like half an hour, getting it red hot. And yeah, that was a proper nightmare. I had to grind all the top and bottom bolts off the actual old ball joint, which is a bit of a pain. Yeah, that didn't. Should have been a half an hour job, really, and it's probably took two hours because it was such a pain. I had to use all sorts of tools, as you can probably see. Got a load more over here. <laughs> Been doing all sorts, but we got it done. We're gonna have to order some new bolts for the bottoms. And you know, the pinch bolts. Probably have to do the same on the other side. It's probably gonna be just as bad. So I'll sort that out. Got, I've been spraying on top of the trims while I've been waiting and guess what? Got a horrible reaction. Look at the state of that. I don't know why, I don't know what that's all about, but it's come up pretty nasty. It's done it on two of them as well, so I'm not impressed because they were fine. But I'm gonna have to sand them back again and let them sit overnight. I think it's obviously got a bit of thinners or something like that trapped in them from when I lacquered them when I had a bit left over from doing the car. But that's no good, is it? With the old Ford badge, I'll just spray that silver at the moment because I looked up at new ones and they're like 30 quid, <laughs> which is a bit over the top. When you've got to get two, it's like 60 plus post. We might leave it like that, we'll have to see. But yeah, we're getting on with her. Time's ticking away, I'm now off to go and do some post and stuff. And I'll probably have something to eat while I'm out. I've got two more tires to go and pick up as well, or well, wheels and tires. These ones are now starting to dry off slightly. It's been a couple of hours now. So they're starting to dull off and just to go to a matte finish and it'll be quite nice once they're sorted. 